My name is Hiroki Kaizaki. I attended the wedding of a friend from college. Yay! Uh, are you serious? There was an ex-girlfriend who broke up with me a year ago at the bride's relative's table. What's wrong? Oh, hey, Tomoya. That seat over there is where the bride's relatives sit, right? Yeah, that's right. What about it? Oh, my ex-girlfriend was there, so I was just surprised. Huh? What a coincidence! Has it been a long time since you guys broke up? Yeah, it's been about a year and a half. I see. Uh, did you have an awkward breakup or something? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I said that to my friend at the same table, but it wasn't really an amicable breakup. I was in my first year of work when my ex-girlfriend Kate and I started going out. I met Kate at a blind date that I was invited to by a senior at work. I still can't learn my job at all, and my seniors get mad at me all the time. I'm lonely every day. Is that right? Hiroki, can I call you when I'm lonely? Oh, you make me feel safe. Yeah, sure, call me. I felt like I had to protect her. So I exchanged contacts with Cade and started dating soon after. But Cade was loose with money. Hiroki, I'm in a tight spot this month. Will you take care of me until payday? What? What did you buy this month? Well, I bought the limited edition goods for my bias and limited edition cosmetics. Anyways, if I don't buy them now, I won't be able to get them again. I'm running out of money for that. You have to shop more wisely. Roki, please! If you go buy the food, I'll do all the cooking, okay? Okay, but let's be more uh, thoughtful about how we spend our money. But Kay didn't stop spending money without a plan after that and eventually got into revolving payments and created debt. Hiroki, I'll definitely pay you back when I get my bonus, so can you lend me some money? You know, I don't have that much money either. I'll stop spending money like this, I promise. I lent her money because I was in love with her, but when her bonus came, she said she had to buy something now and postpone paying me back. Things like that kept happening, so I knew that Kate's I'll pay you back was completely unreliable. I finally made up my mind to break up with her. I can't take it anymore. Let's break up. What? Why? Because you never return the money I lent you. And I don't have any more money to lend you. What? That's what you say to a girlfriend you've known for a little over two years? I've been waiting for more than a year and a half for you to change. I was patient. But you didn't, so I'm going to break up with you. What? You know what? I don't want a cheap, poor guy like you. Huh. When I heard that line, I thought from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad we broke up. If anything, I think it would be more uncomfortable for her to see me again. But for some reason, I felt like I was being watched by the relatives on the bride's side during the reception. But why? Hey, are the people at the bride's relatives' table glaring at us? So they are glaring at me. I think those are my ex-girlfriend's parents. I've been to her parents' house, so maybe they recognize me? Did you break up with your ex-girlfriend in such a way that would make them stare at you? Eventually, the reception turned into a time of food and merriment. How can you live with yourself all this time? You ruined my daughter's life! You owe my daughter and the debt you put on her, you poor bastard! Kate's parents came up to my seat. What? Kate's parents suddenly started cursing at me. And when I froze from the shock, Yusuke the groom and his bride came to see what was going on. Hey, what's going on? Did something happen with Hiroki? He's an evil man who cheated on my daughter. He's a friend of yours, Yusuke. He's a friend of mine from college. How is he an evil person? Hiroki, how do you know Kate's son? I dated Kate after I entered the workforce. Oh, Kaede's ex-boyfriend? I've heard from Kaede. She told me that her ex-boyfriend was terrible. What? In what way? He gambled a lot, was in debt, borrowed money using her name without permission, and he cheated on her and dumped her. What? That is a lie! I never did that! I don't believe a word you say! 
Hey! Where's Kate's son? I want to talk to her! What more do you want from our daughter? Wait a minute! Hiroki doesn't gamble because he doesn't like that kind of thing. I don't gamble! There is no way he would have debt. This guy is not poor at all, and even if he lends money, he would never borrow because his family is wealthy. That's right. Hiroki is, uh, simply put, a rich boy. <laughs> He's always been traveling abroad since he was young, taking a lot of lessons, and even has a big dog in his parents' yard. What? Then why is our daughter in debt? Uh, whose dad is it? I think it's Kate sounds dead. She was very loose with money and often asked me to lend her money when we were dating. I tried not to tell her that I had money because I felt she would spend it all. I would lend her money and she wouldn't return it. What? Ah, oh, that was satisfying. Kate! Come here. Kate, you... You were telling a big fat lie after we broke up, didn't you? Huh? What? What's going on? What lie? The lie you were telling about being in debt because of this man. Apparently this man is not someone who would make a debt. Wait, it's true. I think he's lying to protect himself. Yusuke? I can vouch for Hiroki. Isn't it you who's lying to protect yourself? Uh, Yusuke, you know Hiroki? We are friends from college. I know Hiroki well. I've even been to his parents' house. I believe Hiroki-san, too. What? Wait, why does it come to that? Okay, which is it? Have you been lying to me? Uh, uh, calm down. It's a wedding, okay? This is not the place to talk about it. Let's talk about it later. The bride and groom shouldn't be here. Go back, go back. Wait a second. What's going on, Kaede? I heard you got in trouble and had to borrow money, so I loaned her a million yen. Interest-free indefinitely. I lent you 100,000 too. Me too! I lent you 500,000 yen too. Heidi, how many people have you told the same story to and borrowed money from? Well, that story is a lie to begin with. Apparently, Kate borrowed money from all of her relatives individually by lying to them all at her ex boyfriend to put her in debt. Hiroki, I'm very sorry. I took my daughter's lies to heart and said some terrible things. I'm terribly sorry to Yusuke and the others as well. I started all this in the middle of the ceremony. I've done something I can't take back. Well, I can't imagine how you would feel if there was a man who hurt your daughter. And you were deceived, so don't worry about it. That's right. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you all, and I'll talk to you later. We're going to talk to the stupid girl outside. So, please let the wedding party carry on. And so, Kay was escorted out by her parents. The audience managed to calm down, but there is no doubt that the atmosphere was rather tense. Duh! Everyone is so bad at switching gears, so let's go! Hiroki, you feel some responsibility, don't you? Huh? What is this? Oh, I left it in the cloakroom to show off at the after party! Ha! Congratulations on your wedding today, you two! May we play a song? Although it's been a while. Oh, great! Something to lighten everyone's mood, please! Hey, everyone! My friends from college, Hiroki and Tomoya, are very good on the violin. Especially Hiroki, who won the first prize in the competition. Wait, it's been a while, so don't set the bar too high. Tomoya's fine play brought the reception back to life. Although an unscheduled event happened, and the reception seemed to last longer than it should have, it felt like a little good to be praised and thanked by everyone here. This performance also made me and Tomoya irresistible at the after party. You two were both so cool. A handsome violin, Joe. That was awesome. Do you have a girlfriend? Were you planning on this violin performance at the after party? I didn't hear. Oh, I brought it as a surprise and we're gonna laugh at your poor performance. <laughs> good thing you're able to play it back there. That's what I'm talking about, rich boy. You. Thank you both so much for today. I was wondering how this was gonna go, but you two blew it all away with your performance. It was so cool. It was a great ceremony. 
Well, I'm sure you two will have a lot to deal with in the future, but if you're ever in trouble, we'll be there to help you, so please don't worry. You're a genius at putting it all together. The bride and groom both thanked us, and I'm glad they thought it was a great ceremony. By the way, I heard that Cade was scolded by all the relatives after the ceremony. Cade's parents, who had caused the commotion, offered to pay for part of the ceremony which Yusuke and his family accepted. So they let bygones be bygones. But Cade's guilt will never be erased. Yusuke's wife told me that Cade is now working hard to pay off her debts, while all her relatives look at her with a cold shoulder. And I also had to pay her back the money I'd lend her at the time. And I'm currently happily dating a friend of Yusuke's wife whom I met at the after party. It's hard to maintain relationships with people who don't have the same sense of money. It's best to spend it wisely for your own happiness as well. How did you guys enjoy today's video? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.